I need a favor. Could you pour some of that body oil on my back? Yes, so. It took you long enough to get ready. I told you I had a really important phone call to make. Gee, I'm really sorry. It's not like I want to be here in the first place. track down this girl in town. I really need to find her. Uh, the oil? Oh, right. I'm sorry. Anyway, I'm trying to find this girl. I've only got a... Ooh, it's cool. <laughs> I've only got a decent look at her once or twice. But I'd say she's probably about 5'3", five, 5'4". Five, she's got really long brown hair. She's got very distinctive eyes kind that look right into you. I'm not sure what color. Does she sound like anyone you know? Actually, she does. I know her very well. Oh, oh I poured a little too much oh. oil on. Do you mind if I rub it in a little? Oh, if you don't mind. Not at all. How's that? Oh, it's great. Thanks. So do you know where I can find her? I'm desperate to see her. Wow. She must have made a pretty big impression on you. You have no idea. I really need to see her again. Got good news. She's right behind you. What do you mean? <laughs> oh, my God. It's you. Ethan, I'm right here. What are you doing here? How did you know where I'd be today? I didn't. I was just helping a friend out with the contest. You think you're looking for me? Yes, for a while now. Well, you found me. Here I am. Freeze, not one step closer. But... I want you to stop stalking me. The stalking? I have been walking around, looking over my shoulder, wondering what wacko assault you have planned for me assault? next. Assault? First it was paint, then milkshakes, then barbecue sauce, then fish guts. Oh. Well, it's going to stop right here and right now, because you... Whoever you are, are a menace. No, you're wrong. I... The contest is starting. You better get out there. I'm not finished with... But all the um, contestants have to go backstage now. Okay. Be careful. She's dangerous. Even hey, wait, wait. I can't hear you, Teresa. I have to make him understand. I have to tell him I love him. Let me go, Vinny. If I can just get to him, I know it can make things right. You're crazy. No, listen to me, Whitney. Before you came in, Ethan told me he was looking all around town for me. He wanted to know who I am. I think he's drawn to me. It means he probably wants to have you arrested. No, he misunderstood everything that happened. If I could just explain. No, let me explain something to you. He thinks you're a nut. No, I love Ethan with all my heart. I know if he just realized that... It would change everything. Teresa, every time he's gotten anywhere near you, you have dumped something disgusting on him. I mean, if I were him and I saw you coming, I'd run for the hills. Now let's get out of here. He even let me rub body oil all over his back. Well, at least this one time I got close to him and I didn't do anything to hurt him. Gee, Teresa, that's really swell. Now give me that so we can get out of here. Is this the oil you rubbed on Ethan's back? Yeah. I should keep it as a souvenir of the first time I touched his naked body. Maybe you better keep it as a souvenir of your last day on Earth. What do you mean? I know this stuff, Teresa, from tennis camp. How much 
Can you put on his back? A lot. I was trying to get it all over. Oh, no. What? It's just harmless oil. Wrong, girl. You are in big trouble. Oh, no. What did I do this time? Oh, Hurry, Teresa. Get your hands under some cold water. You are getting awfully hot. Unbelievable. I mean, if this was anybody else, I would not believe this was happening. Whitney, stop making me feel worse than I already do and tell me what I've done now. What you've done, Teresa, is poured sports liniment all over Ethan Crane's naked back. Sports liniment for athletes' sore muscles. That stuff is incredibly strong. It goes on nice and cool, and then after a little while, the area starts to get warm. And warmer and warmer and, and until it starts burning. I mean, you're only supposed to use a tiny bit. Oh, my God. I've got to warn Ethan. Oh, yeah. And maybe you can show up just when he feels like his back is on fire. What do you think Ethan would do if he saw you? Somebody's got to tell him. Don't worry. He's probably figuring it out right about now. Teresa, how is this possible? First, you lose the job that Luis got you at the Burger Hut, and now the one he arranged for you at the cannery. It was an accident, Mama. A terrible accident. Were you hurt? No, I'm all right. Except for being scared of what Luis might say. Oh, my goodness. So he doesn't even know yet? Not yet. Teresa, he was so proud of you for taking that job at the fish factory. He will not be happy about this. I know, Mama. I'm sorry. I really am. I was just hoping I could find another job before Luis finds out I lost this one. But where? Luis told me that all the summer jobs in Harmony were taken. Well, there has to be something someplace. I do want to work. Oh, no, 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 no. That, that won't do. What, Mama? Do you have an idea about a job? Well, I've heard of one, but it isn't suitable. I will not have you working for Mrs. Crane. You mean Ivy Crane? Oh, my gosh, Teresa. Oh, what kind of job does she have? Well, she's looking for a personal secretary. She thought of you. A personal secretary for Ivy Crane? Oh, I could help her plan parties. I could pick out the clothes she would wear. Oh, I don't know what the job would entail. But it doesn't matter, Mama. It's the perfect job for me. I'd be the best personal secretary she could hire in the world. Maybe, if you had the job. But you won't have it. Your brother Luis would go crazy, and for that matter, I don't want you there either. Why not, Mama? It would be so wonderful. We could work there together in the mansion. I said no, Teresa. I should never have mentioned it to you. Tomorrow I will call Mrs. Crane, and I will tell her that you cannot take the job. But, Mama... Teresa, no arguments. My decision is final. Now I'm going to go soak my feet. Can you imagine, Whitney? Me? Working for Ivy Crane in the mansion? Not only is it the job of my dreams, but I would be near Ethan 24 hours a day. I am taking that job. Am I the only one that heard what your mother just said? Don't change your mind. What about Ethan Crane? The last place you need to be is near him. He probably really hates you now. 